Hey YouTube, it's Adrian here. Welcome back from the sort of Ratchet and Clank 3 up your arsenal. So obviously we actually went back through, did the Annihilation Nation, got a lot of um, the, the Titanium Bolts we've missed. And now we're going to be heading to the uh, Emba Embani uh, Moons to Embani Draco, which is all like Daco. And if you remember, Skid has been captured or something, and we need to go and save him. Good old Skid McMarks. I still love that name, by the way. It's obviously a, a, a play on the term Skids in the UK. Uh, if you want to know what that is, don't Google it, please. <laughs> don't Google it. Uh, but yeah, we're heading straight into the Abani Dracon Galaxy. Or m Moon. It's a moon. But it looks like a apple on it to me. I know it's not a galaxy. I kind of slipped up there. But uh, we're going to land. And uh, I'm not going to lie. This is probably one of my most favorite worlds just by the color scheme. Like, I really, I'm a big fan of like bright colors. And just look how cool this looks. Also, there's light in to the left and right. What actually opens as we walk. It's so cool. We're going to be using the whip as well to get that leveled up a bit. But as you can see, there's quite a few puzzles around platforming, like with the whole uh, lava. Oh, it was not really lava, but I don't even know what it is. But uh, yeah, also, why are we on this planet? We've never even been here. I know this is like the, the dot. Strafing is this... a very effective tactic. Um, are you okay, bro? Are you okay? No, you know, dead. Wait, we can go either, either or way, okay? I'm just gonna go this way, but as you can see, it's a lot more time based. You have to time is perfect. I'm kind of glad the whole Magna Boost is a lot more. In this game, it's a lot more like chill, do you know what I mean? Magna Boost increase, by my me. It's a lot more easy to move with the Magna Boost. Oh my god, these guys got lasers now, no shocks. Shockwaves, Jesus Christ. But as you can see, this, this level is pretty sweet. You know, it reminds me a lot like, of like Rayman 2 for some reason, if you know I love Rayman. Um, and it reminds me so much like Rayman 2, but it's been a weird few days for me in life. So if you don't know, it's been my birthday. Uh, I'm currently 22 now, which is crazy. Ugh. And I still am not doing anything productive in my life. That's how you do it. Uh, by that I mean, I am in full-time education, but... Cutscene, maybe? Is it a cutscene? No, it's a checkpoint. Normally with the checkpoint, there's a cutscene, so... Uh, I'm still, like, at university studying. I'm trying to get this um, this job in marketing, as a marketing executive. And if you don't know what that is, that would be, like, a... Um, I'd manage my campaigns. If you don't know, I do a lot of promotional work on the side. Uh, link to YouTube and link to companies and stuff like Pixar and stuff. Is there something? Oh god, stop shooting me! Stop shooting me! Guys, stop it. I know I could probably use a pistol or um, SMG, but I don't really care. It's, I feel like a lot of these areas are blocked off, by the way. I don't know if it's just me who thinks that, but that's probably because the uh, PS2 RAM and stuff. Uh, very, um, not not good, I guess. As you can see, the Obani Dracon Galaxy is pretty simple. It's just like a general save skit. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Speedrun strat right there. But uh, it is a cool design. I feel like these turrets only turn on when we get close to them, which is probably save like memory, like I said, in the uh, in the backup. But if you wonder why I'm going for a job in mark um, in marketing, it's because it's something I'm really passionate about. I'm really creative type of guy. Ooh. What's happening here? This is the testing laboratory for the bio obliterator. Let's see what Nefarious has been up to. Whoa! Like I never knew you were this kinky, Miss Gears. Don't you ever shut up. Okay, I'll zip it. Man, the guys aren't gonna believe this. Like, destroy all squishies, dude. What? They turned Skid into a robot? That's impossible! Not for Dr. Nefarious. Don't be afraid, Ratchet. The transformation doesn't hurt. <laughs> Much. <laughs> Besides, I think you'll enjoy being a robot. Let's see if you can fight better than you can sing. Oh my god, it's boss fight time with Courtney Gears. So obviously Courtney Gears can change, can turn people into a... Oh my god. Can we use the whip here? Can we? Oh, wait, what if the... Um, what's it called? The hollow shield. I'm looking for the infected. What if the infected shield can infect these guys? And they can attack each other. Yeah, it looks like they can. Uh, obviously, Clank has actually changed. Also, the photos around is from Ratchet Clank 2. They're fantastic. Can these guys die by the infector? I'm curious. Can they actually die? Yeah, they can. Uh, so yeah, obviously, um, Clank is still like <laughs> evil, I guess. I love how the infector works in these guys. They just go straight to the side. They can't do anything about it. Uh, R.I.P. in peace. R.I.P. in peace. Uh, but yeah, um, Skids has been turned into a robot. Well, now we know Dr. Nefarious has a true plan. He's got the ability to. He wants to turn all humans into robots like he did previously. Uh, when um, Quark defeated him, I guess. I don't know if there's a constant spawn or do we have to fight them off or what. I feel like we've got to fight these off while the cage fighters are 
still there yet. Like, it's ever simple to choose some uh, good old manpower. Let's go to some full cycle here. Let's just go three quick snipes on her. Snipes. Okay. Oh my god, I did not mean to do that, but it seems to have worked well. Get some Ancient Doom in here. Ancient Doom do some serious chunk of damage, which I'm happy with. Alright, let's just the, the, the Plasma up as well. It, it, does, it, it does do a decent chunk of damage to take guys, which I'm happy with. And uh, we get back to Cotton Gear, so. You know, like it's still Monster is that? Nope. Let's go to the full cycle and uh, get some quick snipes. Die. Die. From what, from what I remember as well, this fight as a kid, this was really, really difficult. I don't know why I always seem to struggle. Oh my god, he's checked his win in here. Check his ears. Cool. It's fine. It's fine. If we could go for some quick snipes, but I don't, I don't want to risk using the ammo if we don't have to. Okay, <laughs> this weapon is doing like no damage to her. Jesus Christ, she is tanky as balls. But she's like um, Britney Spears, isn't she? In, uh, yeah, she is a, a, a strong individual as herself, really. Let's go for some quicker uh, annihilation shots. The rocket's doing a lot more damage than what I thought it would, to be honest, like since it's only level 1. But uh, this should be the end of Courtney Gears. Which wish, wish, wish going to one level up. Infector, get in there. Infector, level up, Infector. It's fine. It's fine, just keep using the Infector. Keep attacking with, with the Infector. Is it doing anything? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. We'll use the Nitro Launcher then. It's one of those things like the rocket launcher level up really quickly. I feel like uh, that is pretty much better to have it on, you know, because take forever to level up. One disposable pop star disposed. Mm. <laughs> uh, you okay, Clank? Transmission from the Phoenix. We've located a Ferris Star Cruiser. It's refueling at the Zeldrin Starport. Orc is already on his way there. It might be a trap. I think Courtney Gears was setting us up. Even so, it could be our only chance to stop Nefarious. We'll meet Quark at the starport. Be careful, Ratchet. Come on, Clank. We'll come back for Skid later. And, uh, like, destroy all squishies and stuff. So yeah, I do love bloody, um, <laughs> robot, um, Skid. But we did it unlock coordinates for something, I don't know. I, I have to have to switch out my audio output because I've got the wrong audio output. I can't actually hear the game, which which sucks. I like to hear the game. Also, you probably hear the block louder than you know. Because I've got no idea what's happening with the plot. I'm not gonna lie, the music here as well. Oh, beat as hell. Whoop, 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 whoop. Thank God I got my audio on. It's one of those things like when I play Ratchet and Clank, I like to hear what's actually happening. And uh, yeah, well, I actually might buy one of these weapons. I might buy the um, the display gun, ball sweat. I think I want to go to the Annihilation Nation, not like traverse even more. Do you know what I mean? We have unlocked Zel Zeldrin, which is not a, a re reference to Belden. <laughs> it seems very Belden esque. We're going to go back to um, Annihilation Nation and try to get some of those challenges done since we bought the weapon, which we need the Dusk Gun, which actually I'm pretty sure it does appear in later adaptations, but more uh, as a dual wield weapon instead of one. It's weird with like those kind of weapons, you know, uh, the, the, the Dispace weapons do appear more and more frequently, which are pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So, uh, we're gonna we'll go back to the Annihilation Nation. I'm, I'm gonna talk over this Annihilation Nation because we've only got like a few challenges to do, and if it goes over 20 minutes, then we'll start speeding it up. But, uh, might as well just talk and just chill, you know what I mean, like, and have a chill chat with you guys because I, like, I like to have a conversation. So, we're gonna do Chop Task with the display gun. So, I, this is probably gonna be pretty difficult because the disc gun has probably got like no ammo. We don't even know how it works. We're just, we're just diving straight in here. We've got 25 ammo. Let's see what it does. It does a lot of damage. You can see a lot of damage, which. It's good, but it's only four rounds. It's in Yamo. We've got a maximum round take increase. I've got a feeling this is going to be pretty difficult, just because, like, as you can see, it's not re ricocheting off anything, which happened to, like, yeah, I feel like it's going to be pretty impossible. And, yeah, we're not getting any ammo either. Um, can, can we kill these guys with um, shocking them? No, we can't. Okay. I feel like this is a bad idea, because we've got, like, five ammo left in the last round. Is there a lot of enemies left? I got a feeling we only left. Okay, it's just these three. We, we could do this then. Is that literally it? What? So we, so we just didn't have to miss? Wow. I think they kind of cared that due to his like lower. Um, low. So if we don't have the risk, 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 the riff inducer yet, so we can't do that one yet. But. Crimi crimination Station. Oh, it's another one of these. Yay! Okay, I want to put the. Uh, not refractor. I kind of wish the refractor was a weapon because I think that would be such a cool weapon, like to fire lasers back at enemies. Like, imagine using the refractor on one of these guys. That would be really cool. I don't know why. I think it's so cool. Left, right, left. Ooh. Oh my god! That, that was a bloody, 
That was a speedrun strat right there. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. I don't know why. I've really got into speedrun again as well. Like, I don't know why. You can't be a good old traditional speedrun, you know. And especially, like, with me getting ready to actually travel home. I really am having YouTube. So it's like, if you don't know, I, I am going home. Uh, when this video is out, I'm going to be at home, which is, which is ridiculous. And it's one of those things, like, with YouTube and stuff, I like to actually make it so I've got a backlog done. So I don't have to worry about uploading videos as much when I'm at home. Because if you don't know, my connection at home is god awful like it, I'm, I speak god, I'm not saying it's god awful it actually is I've never experienced an internet connection like it and nobody's got a bad internet connection like me a lot of people complain about having one megabyte upload I get 0.2 okay that's how bad it is so it only takes me uh, to upload a 720p 60fps gameplay video in my normal parents house it's it's a lot less than you think it, it takes me 600 700 minutes sometimes which is like 11 12 hours to upload a 20 minute video and uh, it's one of those things that I like to like make sure that I can do that overnight like I normally upload videos when I'm asleep when I'm at home but that means like I can't have a constant flow of videos by the way that that was pretty easy that one 10,000 bolts I'm fine with it so it looks like we're gonna have to keep coming back here throughout the game which I'm not really well, I don't really think it's that bad but uh, uh, the annihilator it's fine but we're gonna we're gonna do the quartz actually battle because it seems like it's gonna be like the long way this is gonna be like the the really really long I didn't know how many rounds there is or anything, I don't think. Or is this just a, a hundred rounds? Okay. A hundred rounds to tweet his guys. That's not too bad. We will have to pick ammo up constantly. If we do why I'm using this weapon early on, it's gonna have more value using it early on. So So I feel like it's, it's much more key. Let's go for the nitro launch on these guys. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this yet. Uh, but if we're not, we're just gonna cut it here. If we do do it, I'm gonna keep talking. So yeah. So yeah, we failed that. We're gonna have to come back and do that because I feel like our weapons aren't as good as I thought they was. Oh god damn, I can't believe we failed that. We ran out of time, which I didn't even think it was a time challenge, but I feel like if we're gonna do that, we actually have to do it. We're gonna have... God damn it. We're gonna ha literally have to uh, time all our weapons effectively and stuff, which I can't believe I failed it. Like, it's fine. It's fine, don't worry about it. Uh, but we're going to do this and then we're going to probably come back and do those later on when we get like our weapons at high level. You can always come back and do them in the post game if we really have to, but I'd rather get them done in the pre game because I know I can do it. You know what I mean? When, when, when you like dedicate that much, where you know you can do it. Uh, I just need to work, weapon up my weapons a bit more. Uh, not weapon up my weapons, level up my weapons a bit more. My English are good. Okay, dive. Yes. Fine, these guys are pretty easy. It's a free experience. And there's a ninja raptor, I don't know if you guys can see that. He's like got a blue, um, a blue tint to his, um, his weapon as it were. Okay. Is he gonna come down or? Like he's literally right there. Can we kill this guy? Um. Are you gonna die? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that was uh, meant to kill him, but yeah. I kind of wish you know the whip as well. We could kind of throw it, but I can see why. Oh my god, these guys have some serious range. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. One thing I love about the Annihilation Nation in this game is that you have to keep coming back to it though. It's, ne it's never really gonna be over, as it were. Which is pretty cool. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. Come on, let's keep going up and we'll make our way through. It's going to be obviously right now. Let's pick up some, some nanotech. Because we have to go a few. Ooh. I thought it was going to be left, actually, not right. Even though I said right. What? 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 Jesus Christ, that was a. Uh, that that kind of put me off a little bit. That, that, that made me panic. Dead. And that's the end of that one. Well, hey. So we've got a skill point for that. No idea why. <laughs> but I'm not complaining. We've got a free skill point, so. Eight, eight time champion. Probably just coming back here like so many times, but we're gonna come back and do these later on. It looks like, uh, but I think it's been the time I said enough of the episode. It's been a short episode. I'm sorry, but um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna come back and do those later on. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like. I'll be really appreciated. Next time on Let's Play Ratchet Clank 3, we're gonna go to Zelda in Starport and see what's actually happening. I'll see you guys then. Peace.